Hey guys, so today I have my July favorites really quick. Um, it is already August 1st today, I think. The month of July, I know everybody says it, and I always do too, but the month of July seriously just flew by faster than any month before because, I mean, I guess just having a newborn will do that because it just literally disappeared. I felt like I blinked and it was over. So, yeah. It's just been crazy busy. I don't have a lot of time right now either because um, my mother-in-law is going to be here in a few minutes and then my, me and my husband are going to go to a movie and I like literally just finished getting ready for the day and it's like 3.30. That always happens because my husband works third shift and then so I'm taking care of the baby in the morning and trying to keep her quiet while he's sleeping and yeah. So that's pretty much how every day goes. So. Anyway, I'm going to jump right in. Um, I really had no idea what I was going to talk about, but I really wanted to do July favorites and then I remembered a bunch of things, random kind of things, that I usually forget to talk about. So, yeah, I mean some aren't so random, but you know, they're not on my makeup desk, so I usually forget. So first of all, um, the NYX Control Freak Eyebrow Gel. Um, I might have talked about this last month, I can't remember, but um, I do really like this. I use my Milani Brow Fix Kit first, just a darker color, and then I use this. And I like it, it doesn't get all flaky and gross or anything, like some can. And I really like it. So, yeah. Emily Noel 83, or Emily Noel talks about this all the time. She had Beauty Broadcast, it's her channel now. Maybe. She has the Beauty Broadcast Express channel too where she does daily reviews. But anyway, she loves this too. So, and then I have talked about these before, of course, but my NYX Butter Glosses in Creme Brulee and Eclair. Um, if I don't want to bring my whole little like makeup bag in my diaper bag, because my diaper bag has become my purse most of the time, so I don't have to carry both, I really want to get like a, a little crossbody bag so I can have something for my own stuff without carrying two big purses, two big bags. Um, but if I don't want to carry that, I'll just throw creme brulee in there so that I have something that I can just throw it on. And right now I have on Eclair. So yeah, those are definitely a favorite. I wear them all the time. And then um, in the summer I kind of gravitate, I mean all the time, I like kind of more fruity scents. but. I've been reaching for my um, Juicy Couture Viva La Juicy basically every day. Um, except sometimes I've been wearing that Victoria's Secret pink spray back there. Pretty impure. Um, but a lot of days I'll just put one squirt of this on the back of my neck and call it good. I don't wear too much because I don't want to overwhelm anybody else or my baby. So yeah, I'll just wear like one squirt. And I really like it. So it's one of those, it's a really popular one that you've probably heard about. But yeah, there's a reason so many people like it. So I like it. And then um, this I just pulled out of my cabinet um, because my hair was feeling really gross. Garnier Fructis Pure Clean. Um, it has silicone free, no dye, no parabens, whatever. But anyway. I got this a long time ago to be like kind of a clarifying shampoo and then I always forget about it and put it like back in my cabinet. Um, but I pulled it out because after using the Paul Mitchell Tea Tree shampoo for like two days because I ran out of my favorite one, my hair just felt absolutely disgusting and I have no idea why but it felt so greasy and dirty. I was like what in the world? what was going on and it took me like till the third day to realize it was a shampoo but then I used this for a couple days and it was like back to normal so yeah so it was a really cheap good shampoo if you want some really clean hair so I did like this um but now I'm using the Kenra shampoo that I just got during the leader sale hopefully I'm gonna do that haul too but we'll see and then um, I've been kind of 
looking through like I really need to just clean out my bathroom cabinet <laughs> but um, I pulled out this again the Redken Outshine anti-frizz polishing milk um, I think my hair does better with this now that it's shorter because I needed something to help kind of smooth and help with frizz so I just put this through my hair before I blow dry it and I think it's been helping I used the last few days because um, it has been hot and humid and I think it helps and my hair feels good um, it feels nice and smooth so I have been liking this as well um, yeah when my hair was like longer I felt like it got too weighed down easily with stuff like this but yeah now it's working and then the Sally Hansen airbrush legs leg makeup in medium um, I, this is also supposed to be water resistant. I haven't used this a ton, really. Um, I try to keep up with the self tan, but the last few days when I was in desperate need of redoing it, um, I just mix a tiny bit of this with some, uh, body butter and then just smooth that all over my legs instead of just the body butter and it works really well. This, honestly, would be like way too dark if I used it by myself. I'll probably have to get the light one eventually. Um, or just mix it with even more body butter. But it works good. It smooths everything out. Um, and it looks natural, I think. If I used this, like, by itself because it's so dark, I think it would not look natural <laughs> at all. But, um, again, this is the medium. So if you're pretty fair, I'd probably go with the light unless you want unless you want to like really dilute it like I do um, but yeah it works well and especially when you just want your legs to look a little better <laughs> so yeah and then the yes to coconut hydrate and restore protecting hand and cuticle cream I really like this and I found it randomly and decided to get it um, when I was at Walmart so a few months ago um, but yeah, I always forget to talk about things that I keep in my purse. So, um, yeah, it smells really good. I'm not like, like, I like the smell of coconut, but I would get sick of it. I get sick of it if I use it like too much. So, but just on a hand cream that I use sometimes, you know, that's fine. My husband likes the smell of coconut. So, but it's really nice and moisturizing. I really need to use it more often, but I really like it. It comes with three ounces. So pretty good amount for a hand cream I think it was like five or six dollars and you know it's got better ingredients than a lot of other brands do so yeah I really like that so yeah that's the yes to coconut one and then last but not least is a really girly mom kind of thing so yeah but um, this is the Earth Mama Angel Baby Natural Nipple Butter. Yeah. So I exclusively pump for my daughter, but then I mix that with formula because she eats so much. I mix it with organic formula. But um, yeah, so I use this like after every time to help them be a little better. So yeah, I'd say it works pretty well. I probably use more than you really need to because I've already made a good dent in it. But I mean, it's still quite a bit left. It has two ounces. So yeah, I really like it and it's all natural. So it's not like you're putting something full of chemicals on your lady parts or, <laughs> you know, but it has, you can use it for a lot of other things too. You could even use it on your cuticles which is the only reason, sometimes I'll rub the extra <laughs> left on my hands and in my cuticles, but, um, yeah, I try not to purposely use it for that, because just because I don't want to use it too fast, but I think it was only like $12 or so, it's not terrible, but it's really only olive oil, cocoa seed butter, shea butter, um, calendula wax, mango butter, and calendula flower extract is all that's in there so it's all natural good for you safe um even if you were nursing like you don't have to wash it off first it's totally safe so 
yeah I really like that too I'm gonna get the Earth Mama Angel Baby brand so I really liked the new Mama Bottom Spray too for right after she was born so yeah so anyway that's all for my favorites for today I really better get going um I really hope to start getting more videos up soon but it's just been crazy finding time especially between me and with my husband's schedule and yeah so anyway so I'm gonna go be sure to give this video a thumbs up because it helps me out um yeah so that's all and I will see you in another video hopefully soon so yeah bye guys